time signatures. Time signatures indicate to us the rate at which the notes are changing. It is always placed at the beginning of the staff following the key signature. There are two types of time signatures, namely simple time and compound time. Simple time signatures. They can be characterized as single note beats that can be divided into two. We have what we call simple duple time, where duple means two. That means two beats. We have simple triple time where it means three beats in a bar. Then we have simple quadruple time, where quadruple means four beats in a bar. Below are the subdivisions of simple time signatures. Remember, I said that duple means two. The example here is two, four. Where there are two beats of crotchets. There are crotchets. So that means that it's two crotchet beats, which can be further subdivided into two groups of two quavers each. That's why it's called duple time because we have two groups of two quavers each. Then we are also looking at the triple time, simple triple time, where triple, as I said, means three. So it will be three beats of crotchets three crotchet beats one two three which can be subdivided into three groups of two quavers then we have the simple quadruple time remember quadruple means four what kind of beats are they they are crotchet beats so it's one, two, three, four crotchets, which can be subdivided into four groups of two quavers each. Examples of simple time signatures. We have figure one and figure two. In figure one, we notice how a beat can be subdivided into two quavers in simple time signatures. They, in bar one or figure one, these are two beats which are subdivided into two quavers in each group. Same in the next bar and also in this bar. Here we have only crotchets. In figure two, the three, four. In bar one, we have the first beat, which is a crotchet. The second beat is two quavers. Same with the third beat. And so on and so forth. So, also, every note is grouped to a single beat note. So, that what, that's what we mean when we say single beat notes. We mean there's a single note, which is the crotchet. It's grouped on its own. Same with those quavers over here. And so on and so forth. Figure three 
it's in four four time, which is simple quadruple time, where we have four crochet beads in figure three. What's important to realize? Figure three bar two. We notice that everything is grouped to a single note beat. There's our second group or the second bar. Our first beat. There's our second beat over there. That's the second beat over there. We have a dotted quaver with a semi quaver. That will be beat 2 which is equals to 1 crochet. Third beat it's the crochet it's tied to the fourth beat where the quaver and two semi quavers make up one crochet. Therefore, even if we use a different rhythm or node value, they must always be grouped to a single beat note in simple time signatures.